to just vibe vibes welcome let's talk about porsche's family matters episode four okay this episode hmm. <clears throat> there are a lot of things i really want to talk about mama gina mama gina mama gina why do you always have this negative you know what i mean there's this negative um response that she have whenever porsche apologize Anytime Portia, when Portia said, I apologize in the in the launch, she was like, oh, you're apologizing. This is the first thing you're apologizing. Now you're at the table and Portia is saying that she apologized for her, um, for maybe, for the way she sounded and pointing fingers. And I'm like, oh, she apologized. From this whole show, I can count twice that Portia has apologized to you. How many times have you apologized back with your smart comments and your slide remarks? You've never apologized at all. But then you're the one pointing your finger at someone else. They feeling like, oh, the person does not apologize. But you do not apologize. So, please make it make sense. And then, Undelling. Hmm. Wow. First of all, Undelling is hot. Wow. That woman is fine. I'm like, after she's had children, she looks like that. That woman is fine. Her. <laughs> Ooh, Porsche's uh, aunties from her mother's side, they are beautiful people. I just had to say, even from my dad's side, like, Porsche's family actually are beautiful people. Okay. So, Andale crying about her feet. That was weird. Like, I do understand, though, the trauma for people to kind of pick on something. So, maybe every other person might not see that deep. Like me, I was thinking, I'm like, oh, you're crying about your feet? But being called hawk feet? Hmm. And maybe finally accepting the feet. It could just be a feat. Because the woman is beautiful. So maybe that's the only thing that they could pick on her then. But she didn't see that maybe they were they might have been jealous, envious, whatever the case is, and look through her and look for something that they would laugh at her with. But that has stuck with her. So this is one thing whereby you know when you bully, we call that in Nigeria yabbing. People do that a lot, honestly. Like growing up, <laughs> I was yab, lots of people yab too. It's a normal thing, but it does affect someone's psyche. So she crying. How it looks like him too much, but also if you kind of put yourself in her shoes, you can understand somehow that kind of emotional stuff. But it was kind of like, ah, really? Want to talk about this here? And then at least from the dad side, oh, that woman and the shade, the shade. She said that is it Lena? Whatever her name is, Alina is in over her head. Yes, Lena is actually in over her head. I don't see what she's doing there. Then honestly, the whole spiritual stuff and the cleansing and the this, I'm I'm not for it. I would not have done none of that on that kind of show. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. I'm actually under the weather. I just had to power up, put some makeup on, and come and do the show. I've been feeling really, really down today. Okay, so anyway, so yeah, so that is that. And I just feel like mm -mm, she is just doing team, team, like, uh uh, like, and, and please, you're doing too much. Like, oh, I don't know you, I don't know you, I don't know you. I did part of my family. I don't understand why I'm here. This is a Porsche show. Porsche is just bringing people that she called family to her. You did not get that memo? Who did you want to be there? Why did you not invite them then? Why did you not speak to Porsche and say, okay, can you invite this out of her family? Because you are saying that the only person that you know there is somehow, is a uh, Landy that you know and somehow Lauren. Because if that Lauren is even from the father's side, but you say somehow you both of you are not close. So literally, you only know Porsche, Lundy and Lauren. Go and bring your people then that you think are part of the family. I just feel like that shit to the guy. I don't know you. I don't know you. I understand that old aunties sometimes they just be, you know what I mean? They just be talking without thinking about the other person's feeling. Okay, now let me go to uh, this girl, Erica. You want, you are happy. I hope they don't show her face. Because if they show her face and she agrees to show her face where someone is calling you work. And literally he calls you work. And you're going to show your face on national TV as the work. That is just not that. Now, I like how supportive Simon is. I think in this show, I actually do like Simon and appreciate him. Do I feel like Simon do take a lot of things on his chain? But he's quite smart, though. I think he knows how emotional it might be for this switch. So, he doesn't push Portia too much. Because when he told her that now you're going to have to pack all his things and send it to him. I was like, that is some G shit. Like, literally, like... Pack all them stuff and send it to him. Why are you holding on to his things? But it's the way he said it. Like if it was me, that would have been trouble. When it was not going to be now that we're talk talking about it. But the fact that he was patient with her and said it later on, that for me, that was like, hmm, Simon, 
I'm liking you on this show because like I see a lot of supportiveness and him also talking about like Magina gotta go. Seriously, Magina just has negative, negative, negative energy. What's her point there? Except it's drama, but her drama is not even really drama. And then let's talk about Storm. I think her name is the problem. Let's even start there. They need to change her name from Storm. When you name someone Storm, what did you expect from the person? Peace. She's Storm. Storm demolishes. Storm makes noise. She is acting what her name is. She is rude. She does not like listen to hear someone's point of view do i feel like londy already does not like storm yes londy dislikes storm i don't want to say hate and but storm is very rude do i feel like dennis also does not just like storm yes storm said i think dennis was trying to sleep with her or something i can see that maybe that's why he's always on her case or maybe she's just very rude like he said and got fired and for but for some reason like she might hold something against him but he is kind of talking too much like the person that's holding something against her and then he's starting his conversation saying that, oh, you guys are a dysfunctional family. Uh-uh. Then it's, you're just a family with Portia. Now, you cannot knock out the whole family. See, my family can be dysfunctional, not that they are. But I don't need an outsider. I don't care whether your baby daddy come in to tell me that my family is dysfunctional. Are you mad? I can say it, but you cannot say it. So him saying that, that was like, no, 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 no. I, I, like, I was like, what? Starting with dysfunctional family, you serious? And then... When they went to that healing, uh, what they call it? Um, I wrote it down. Uh, sinote, sinote, yeah. I didn't know what that means until I saw it. it's like a what a, water underneath the cave or something. Like that. Yeah. But uh, when that guy was just talking so loosely about like, oh, people are dead. There can be head. There can be nail. There can be teeth. There can be this in the water. Everybody just looking at like shock. And he talked about it so casual. For me, that was what was chilly. It's the way he talked about it. So I guess that's my history. Okay. You serious? Like it was the casualty. I, like the way he talked about it. That was the thing I, I just did not get. Like you're talking about deaths, like bodies. And why are you guys going there to cleanse? Somewhere where they killed people. Those spirits that they killed that are there are not happy. Based on the way they were killed. So why is that a place for you to cleanse? You want to get unhappy spirits to enter. You want to cleanse um, negative and get negative back. You don't go to where there are spirits that have been killed. And go to that place to go and cleanse. That makes no sense. Like some of all this. I feel like people want to be spiritual so much. They don't even know what they're calling. That's what I'm saying. In this whole show I would not have done none of those things. Because I don't want trust. I don't think the Lena girl knows what she's calling. I don't think Lauren knows what she's calling. They are just saying spiritual. Oh clients. Oh this. Oh that. They just got learn few few things. And you don't know what you're actually practicing. That's how I feel. Except they know and they've not told us deeply. But the way it looks. It just looks like you guys are doing so many things that are mm -mm, not good. I don't think so. Like you go and cleanse. Where like. Nah. Anyway when everybody was talking. Oh and Dylan. Ugh. I do feel like Andelin really, really wants to have a relationship with Storm. I don't know what she really did. That Storm did not want hug her on the other dinner table. And then to hug her was like a whole thing. Storm feels unmoved when she talks. So she must have done something that has really scarred Tom. I mean Storm. If I am being honest. So I cannot judge Storm on this. But I feel like when your mom pause her, you need to also open your heart so that both of you can heal. So for she being that closed off, I don't really... That's her, but I don't really get it. But she trying to hug the woman. The woman... Trying to hold her on almost and then start shouting. I was like, this woman is a drama queen. Like that drama and the crime. I feel like it's real, but damn the drama. Mm, the drama. She almost spoke in tongues during that period. <laughs> anyway, that one. And then uh Aunt Lee is talking about the ghost of the civil right. I do understand that though. If you've seen people being killed over and over again, it's kind of like us now, right? I'm not comparing what's happening with the civil rights, but you see people a lot being killed by police, being killed by this, being killed by that. It's not even the police, there's a lot of stabbing. Like, it's like the whole world is becoming heartless. Every day you check, you go on social media, a lot of negative news, more that you see than positive news. So, but this one, we have social media, so you're seeing things from all around the world. But them, they're living it. You're seeing people that are being hung that you know. People, you know what I mean? You're seeing people being killed that you know. Someone that you laugh with today, the person is gone. So all those things, I can see giving someone PTSD. You know what I mean? She's sleeping and seeing those faces. I can see that and I hope that she actually did heal. Because I felt like she was coming from a deep place. And then Lauren talking about working with Portia. I do understand feeling unappreciated working with someone. I do understand Lauren is a Pisces. I know like we don't want to talk about it. But Pisces are very emotional people. I'm a Pisces person. So I do know like me, I'm kind of like a bit more... 
Yeah, but I do feel it, but I might not show it. But I do understand that Pisces are very emotional. If Pisces do something for you, they need a good thank you. They need to feel like they are not, they are appreciated. But Pisces is a feeling. Their feeling is very important. So uh, let's even forget about that. In human, human in general, when someone is doing something for you, especially when it's a family business, so Lauren would have been going up, like, you no know, above and below, doing things that a staff would not do. And if she felt unappreciated, it's because Portia actually was unappreciating her. Yeah, maybe she didn't tell Portia. She just um, threw that out when it has built up. You know what I mean? She didn't tell her as it was going. So Portia felt blindsided and feels like, oh, I didn't know. I did not. I appreciated, you know. Maybe you did not appreciate her enough. When someone feels a kind of way, it's not about how you feel. It's about looking at how does that person feel. That's more important than how you feel at that moment. Especially when someone says that you hurt their feeling. So I do feel like Portia does need to actually accept that she have hurt lauren it doesn't matter if she intended to it doesn't matter if she felt like she did but the point is that lauren is hot and that is that and then mama gina talking about oh she she's unforgiving yes mama gina you're unforgiving you hold this i don't know what Portia has done to you from the moment that when she was even with dennis it seemed like you didn't even want her now she and dennis are not together it feels like you're like and uh, trying to laugh at her you know make things like like you're waiting for things not to work so you can be like hey i told you so so what did you want because i don't i didn't see you that invested in their relationship or trying to to like you know someone that really wanted it to work so now why are you acting all hot like you're the one in the in the relationship and then he's talking about oh my Gina was very very hot from me she invested too much in the family then it's you're the reason for her pain so can you just suck that up you are the reason for her pain and having a work for a four day trip i don't know maybe he just wants to show imagine her coming there smiling because she felt like Portia is going to throw tantrum i'm happy that Portia did not throw tantrum but lauren is right Portia, you cannot be behaving that way you're going to hurt simon in the process he might be keeping it in but it's going to get to a stage whereby he's not going to be able to hold it anymore you have to stop that whole uh, thing i know that this has been short a long time and you guys are still going strong so when you watch it you need to actually apologize to simon because your behavior shows that you're not over dennis do i think that you're over dennis yes but the behavior shows that you're not over him I you want things to remain the same why you you move on but he just has to be there things don't work that way and honestly the way you're behaving is really really bad to simon so you need to apologize to simon for your behavior so that is and i don't understand how come simon did not tell Portia that dennis was bringing someone he said he was going to hmm. anyway so that is that please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you some other time oh i forgot to say this is my one year anniversary of this youtube channel the first video we ever did was on the 20th of december so this is one year anniversary so that was why even if i wasn't feeling well i'm like i'm gonna do a video Bye bye <laughs>